Hello and welcome. Today we are looking at the MJX X708P Cyclone Drone, courtesy of GearBass.com. Check out their website for more cool quadcopters just like this one. This drone has a 720p HD wide angle lens camera that has Wi Fi FPV, it has optical flow positioning, altitude hold, headless mode and plenty of other neat features so let's check it out now the drone comes in this white rectangular box and right up here it says MJX RC cyclone optical flow positioning and right here is a listing of all its features uh, such as uh, optical flow positioning headless mode 2.4 gigahertz control HD camera so on and so forth right here you could see a little detail on the lens of the uh, camera and as you can see it's for ages 14 plus here on the side there's not much going on it just says MJX RC in blue and right here at the bottom is the standard caution and warning labels as you can see here and right here on the back you have a top view of the quadcopter and also showing the uh, transmitter with its uh, mobile device so very neat layout here with the handle there at the top so um, without further ado let's open the package up and take a look inside here let's slide out this styrofoam portion here just slide it out there and we'll set it right up here so everything's contained in here now let's have a look as you can see we have the manual transmitter and drone and all the accessories and little bags and um, right here as mentioned is the manual and right here is the transmitter let's have a closer look here Pretty nice, kind of like the uh, other standard um, MJX transmitters. And here we have the uh, Cyclone drone, very cool looking here with its uh, bug eyes and uh, Wi Fi antenna. And there was a previous Cyclone drone that was in white, but this is the upgraded version. And here are the remaining accessories here the propeller guards. Here are the um, here's the mobile device connector clip that you would set on top of the transmitter. Here are spare propellers and screwdrivers, and um, here is the charger USB charger for the battery. And uh, there is the screwdriver, and that's essentially it. Now let's organize all this and take one last look at the contents of the box. Now taking a last look at the contents of the box. We have the drone itself. It's 3.7 volt, 550 milliamp LiPo battery. It's a USB charger, uh, propeller guards, spare propellers, screwdriver, some screws, the uh, instruction manuals, the uh, mobile device clip, and the transmitter. So that's essentially the contents of the box. Now let's take a closer look at the drone. Now taking a closer look at the drone, this is a very neat looking drone here. The MJX Cyclone. And it has its cool little bug eyes right here in the front. And blue hexagon pattern right there at the top. Here's its 720p HD wide angle lens camera. It is two megapixels and it is fixed so unfortunately it does not tilt but produces a good quality image right here is its uh, Wi-Fi FPV antenna there's its optical flow sensor and right here is its battery compartment so let's open it up and take a closer look at the uh, battery here and connection as you can see it's a pretty standard connection here you can easily find batteries for this such as a SEMA X5C battery you can get higher capacity batteries but this one is a 3.7 volt 550 milliamp LiPo battery which provides the quadcopter with around an 8 to 9 minute flight time 
you can possibly put a higher capacity battery in here such as an 800 milliamp or 750 here we have the uh, USB charger that it comes with and it just simply plugs in like that and it takes about an hour to 90 minutes to charge and provides the quadcopter with the uh, eight or nine minute flight time and uh, the packaging does label this as a 650 milliamp but it's really a 550 that comes with it and uh, taking a closer look here there is the um, SD card slot so you can put an SD card in there and get higher quality footage um, here are its uh, bright LED lights at the bottom so very good for uh, orientation night flying and here are its rubbery landing legs which are very good for uh, rough landings um, it is a uh, brushed motor quadcopter cordless motors and um, taking a closer look at its optical flow sensor here it's not used for taking pictures or anything it's primarily used for optical flow positioning to keep a stable and still hover and um, the uh, propeller guards are real easy to install right here on the sides so very easy to work with and uh, overall a very neat quadcopter so uh, now let's uh, take a closer look at its transmitter. Now looking at the transmitter, this is a very comfortable controller. That's a uh, standard MJX controller, such as in the previous Cyclone drone. It does require four AA batteries, as you can see here, four AA's. And it uses a small screw to fasten the battery lid here in the back. And briefly going over the controls, we have the on-off switch right there with its light. We have the directional trimmers here on each side. Um, there's also the uh, left throttle stick and right rudder stick here. And then at the top we have some buttons. This is the lock and unlock button or one key landing if it's kept pressed. This is the lights button or if you keep it pressed it will put it in headless mode. This is the rates button, so you have two rates of speed, high and low, denoted by beeps, and this button is not utilized. So interestingly enough, there are no flip buttons or one key return buttons on this controller. And um, there is a small installation here. There's a two piece uh, clip here that you simply slide on and attach. And uh, you can put a mobile device right here, such as a cell phone. And it does stretch out quite a bit here, so you can put a pretty large cell phone, but not quite a tablet. And uh, this transmitter does provide the quadcopter with an 80 to 100 meter range of control, so very good. And um, that's essentially it. So now let's take a closer look at setting it up for a first time flight and its app. Now setting the quadcopter up for its first time flight is very straightforward. Once you have a fully charged battery inserted into the drone along with its SD card and fresh batteries inserted into the transmitter you would first start out by activating the drone simply by plugging in its battery with its connections here since there's no on off button so once you plug it in you'll notice the lights start blinking you simply close it back up and set it down and uh, you'll notice a new pattern of blinks there. At that point, you want to bind the controller to the quadcopter by turning it on and then simply applying an input in any direction. And you'll notice the lights go solid. That indicates that the quadcopter has been bound. Now you want to calibrate the gyros by moving both sticks down and to the right, like so, and you'll notice some blinks. Now your gyros have been fully calibrated. Make sure to do this at the ground level while the drone is flat and not moving. Next, you wanna unlock the motors with the red button and provide some altitude with the left throttle stick and that will allow the drone to take off. But now let's look at its app. Now prior to the app, you wanna to connect to the drone using your mobile device's Wi-Fi settings. You'll see an entry called MJX H FPV with a serial number. And initially there is no default Wi-Fi password, so you connect to that, then launch this app right here, which is MJXH, 
which is in your Android or iOS app stores. And that's the icon right there, MJXH. So you would launch that. And you'll be greeted with this screen that has two main options, monitor or control. And initially here there is um, a help center which gives you access to your gallery. Then you have some help documentation right here on using the app and other features. And you would go back. So let's start out with monitor. And that will give us an FPV view of the quadcopter here, as you can see. And the, you can see there, not much latency. And uh, the FPV range is around 80 to 100 meters. So not too bad there. And now taking a look at the monitor mode here of the app. Um, you can see here you have um, signal strength. You can also flip the uh, FPV view upside down if necessary. You can split the screen for um, FPV goggles. You can take pictures or videos. You can also access your gallery once again. You can go back. And then if we go back to the um, main view here, you now can access control and you still have an FPV view, but now you have virtual controls, left throttle stick and right rudder stick and engine start and um, the activate buttons and trims and you can go back and um, you can have the emergency stop and all the camera and video buttons. And right here we have the waypoint mode, uh, but that's enabled once the quadcopter is um, active. Here are some of the uh, controls such as one key return, headless mode, accelerometer flight mode, um, high and low rates, 360 flip, and so on and so forth. Uh, unfortunately, the 360 flip and one key return do not work with the app. And um, here you could just flip the uh, FPV view or take out all the icons so you have a full screen view. But um, that's essentially it for the app and um, the drone is a good flyer it has a good clean camera and uh, it performs pretty well